Hello and welcome to another video. Today we will start with my Hobonichi Weeks plan with me where I will be setting my spread up using a kit from the planner shack and then we will move into setting up my Erin Conjure and Teacher Planner for the week. I will be putting both of those plan with me's in here. The first one is the Hobonichi. It's only like eight minutes long or so and then the rest is the Erin Condren. I'm doing the Hobonichi as a voiceover because my setup for this is super simple especially this week. Um, I was I just had this kit and I kind of wanted to see how much of it I could use so I put down pretty much as many stickers as I could get to fit. That was my only like way of approaching this was I just want to put on I want to put down all the stickers um, whereas my Erin Condren take took more time and it took more thought and it holds just information in a different kind of way so I will be doing this section as a voiceover and I put down the date covers and the bottom washi and now I'm putting on the top washi I really love the florals in this kit. I don't. I feel like I don't love florals in general, but these I really liked. I did really like the date covers. However, these date covers were so patterned that I feel like they would have worked a little better if I had chosen to use date dots. Instead, I do just write my dates on top of the pattern, and so it looks a little clutter cluttered. It's a little hard to see the date numbers, but. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I know what week it is. I know what the dates generally are, and that's fine. I don't know, like, I don't know if that was the intention. Like, if this kit was put together with the idea that you would use date dots, or if whoever put it together thought that the white background maybe would let you see the date numbers. I'm not really sure, but that's one thing to keep in mind, is that sometimes if the date, um, like, date covers are too busy then it is hard to see the numbers if you do write them in like I do most of the time I think I've written yeah I've written them in most almost all the time there might have been two weeks where I haven't written them in but I've been using this planner for oh one two like three months and so in those three months I've only not written the date covers the date numbers in maybe twice so here I'm just outlining everything the way I usually do. I have my sidebar boxes for the weather and then I'm making the lines between each day darker because I just like the way that looks better. And I use my Erin Condren ruler for that. I really like this ruler. It is thicker and like sturdier feeling than their old ruler. And so I'm glad to have that. It works well for this. I'm also using my pen gems pen with their original like ink in it I didn't change it for gel or anything like that I am using a ballpoint pen here I don't usually use ballpoint pens but they I've warmed up to them because for me they work best in the Hobonichi I think that a little bit of uneven like ink distribution is well worth not having to wait for things to dry nearly as much as with gel pens and it just it worked better for me. I can keep a semi-thick tip without needing to go to like a point four or something like that and also not having to wait a long time for things to dry. Now I'm putting down the boxes and basically and every day I'm making sure that I have a checklist, at least one, sometimes two, a checklist, a full box, and either another checklist box or a full box but like without a dark pattern like on Wednesday that first box is decorative but it has like it's whited out so you can write on top or two half boxes that's my method I'm scattering the full boxes this kit came with six full decorative boxes so you'll see that Sunday doesn't well I'll do something different there but for now I'm just diagonally scattering the decorative full boxes so that every day has one at the end of the day, I don't know exactly how I feel about this spread. I go back and forth between, like, do I want stickers in my Hobonichi? Do I not really want stickers? I think my favorite spreads are definitely the ones where I just use washi and maybe date covers. But I did like how this turned out in the end. It's a little 
ge- it's it's like super geometric in the sense that I have like these this grid of three boxes by seven boxes and I used every box as a box with these stickers which I almost never do because I find the boxes a little too small to write in so I don't use that th- that designation. I typically divide my Hobonichi into two on the two parts on the left side but I decided to try these stickers and they are sized such that each box is a third across and so it's okay. I was willing to play around with this week because I don't have that much going on so if I don't like this spread it's fine. There's not like a ton hanging on it. I don't have that much to do. And so I'm pretty much finished with the left side after slathering every sticker I could fit onto it. And then for the right side, I am putting down this weekly box to plan Instagram post on. I don't, I'm not good at keeping up with that, but I've been keeping that box there. And I kind of like it because it just reminds me to occasionally get on Instagram. And then I'm also using three habit trackers. I believe these, I don't write them in here, but these habits end up being to read 15 pages from my self-study course, um, work on my TBR for the Book Junkie Readathon, and wake up by 7 a.m. I am failing on all of those at this time on this day so i'm actually doing this voiceover when this video goes up monday july 7 um july 1st <clears throat> and i did not wake up at 7 a.m i did start my book junkie readathon reading but i have not read 15 pages and i also didn't read 15 pages yesterday so i have to do that because i'm a touch behind but that's okay i just want wanted to get this video up and I've been adjusting to an earlier sleeping schedule, so things have been kind of weird, but that's okay. Now I believe I'm going in with strips of washi. Yeah, there they are. And this is this is pretty much it. So all that blank space on the right-hand side is just for a catch-all to-do list for the week. And that completes my spread. No appointments to pre-plan, nothing like that. Just this is what it is. And yeah, so once I get this washi down, I think I put an important header at the top and that completes my Hobonichi setup. We will be moving into my Erin Condren setup, but the Hobonichi is really simple in purpose and also in setup with this kit especially because just there are a lot of stickers and I put them all down and now we're done. So this is what I have left. And we will be moving into my Erin Condren spread shortly. So we just finished setting up my Hobonichi for next week in the time-lapse video section thing and this is what it looked like I added a few more things since I filmed it for the time-lapse and really there's not there's not very much going on next week I mapped out my videos the spider-man release and a few things that I want to do some of which I'll be adding to after this week I filled out the habit trackers to mark my self-study reading and what I need to get done each day to get through that, the readathon and wanting to work towards that, and then making sure that I maintain my new wake-up schedule to wake up by 7 a.m. in that part. In this next half of the video, I will be setting up my first weekly in the Erin Condren Teacher Lesson Planner, and this is going to be an interesting week. It'll be an interesting few weeks because I am one experimenting i've never been in this layout before but two there's just not a lot happening right now so things are sure to look pretty empty i yeah that's just how it is it's summer break still i don't start my grad program until september i am in the process of trying to um find a new apartment so that we can move at the end of the month but until then like I haven't really done much 
there's just nothing happening there's nothing to do so this will be pretty empty and it's like a lot of space for the very little i have to do you saw my hobonichi weeks like everything is fitting in there without a problem right now which means that this is definitely too much space but i'm going to set it up anyway to get a feel for the layout and to show you guys some of my ideas so this starts on july the first and we'll start with this half so well actually i'm just gonna outline what i've got here and make sure i'm in frame because my camera is above my head okay so i have monday through friday here that's just how the planner is laid out then i've divided the days into four sections for work related things school related things personal things and then daily habits and or tracking things then i have saturday and sunday in their own columns just off to the side over here and each box vertically is going to be one of those sections with just a general other box a this week section and then a section for weekly habits i want to work on this may or may not work because in theory i could do something else so like i have it set up like this but i could also have monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and put like this week notes over here somewhere actually no this would have to be to label the sections i could put them like down here i could put saturday and sunday together and make another section i don't know what i'm going to do i don't know if this is going to be how i choose to keep it i don't know if it's going to work it's weird i think to me that it starts out like horizontally like this but then becomes vertical at the same time i don't mind that my weekdays and my weekends are different so like during the week i have just this large chunk of time and then weekend i could flip my planner and then just have two columns even if i don't like vertical layouts as much the weekends are generally far more flexible so i don't know if this is how i'm going to keep things but this is how i'll set it up for this week and I have a section here for top three. I don't know how that will, how that is going to work exactly. We'll see. Then I want to try to color code. So I have this sticky note where I've put my different colors and we're going to get started. So I'm just kind of following this, um, the way their encounter markers are laid out, which more or less follows that of the rainbow. And then these little sections under the, these dates, there's like a lot of room there. So for now, I'm going to try to set this up as a place to write a top three list. I don't know. That might end up being, for most of this week, the entirety of my to-do list. But we'll see. So I have a list, or I've written out like the top three headers, and honestly, I'm setting this up, but my Hobonichi is still going to be my main planner, at least for the next month or two, because it's it's working just fine. I don't have enough going on to warrant it. I'm also not going anywhere. So like my Hobonichi planner is meant to work in conjunction with this for when I'm out and about and going places, but I don't have anywhere to go. So it's not as necessary right now to like split up things. I'm just playing in here for right now. Pink I've designated to be for YouTube tasks. That's because they're, they're personal tasks. Like they aren't for school, they aren't for work. They are just things I want to do. But they're things I want to do that just feel separate. Like it's, it's a more structured hobby for me like with the schedule and stuff than other random things that I choose to do in the rest of my life and like here I've outlined videos for the month and I've used pink for that so pink is going to be specifically for YouTube tasks just so I can see them a little more clearly and so I don't need that right now work stuff is going to be in pink and right now those kinds of tasks are just going to be doing some research filling out some um, tutoring applications, that kind of thing. I haven't decided how I want to deal with the top. I know you can buy stickers to label things, 
but I feel like that would just make this one section like really thick and so I don't want to commit to using label stickers unless I know that I will put stickers in other parts of the planner uh, right now to like even stuff out across the board but right now I don't know if that's how I want to do things so I'm just going to let her in work for now I'm really surprised that it didn't bleed through to the next page, but there's that. Orange will be for school stuff. I'm working on a work study, or not a work study, an independent study that is part of a prerequisite that I don't have for my grad program. I technically have until next June to do it, but I mean, after I'm not doing anything right now. And after this summer, I'll start school and work. And then when am I going to do it? I would have to fit it in through between school and work. Or I could just do it in the next month and a half when I don't have anything going on. So that's what this section is devoted to right now. Which also, like, isn't much. It's like one the same task over and over. But I'm still going to keep this section. Personal tasks are in this light green. I kind of don't know how I feel about this light green. I'm gonna use it for now. That coil really makes things hard. Okay. That's such a funny L. And it's a little too small here for me to use this thickness. I probably should have used the other the other side so that I can maintain the faux calligraphy thing I've got going on. But that's okay. So that's what this page is looking like right now. Another, reason, another thing is that I am combining the plan with me's for this planner and in the Hobonichi weeks into one like weekly plan with me because I feel like there's not, in any given week, there's not going to be enough variation in either of them for it to be interesting, but together I think that that might be interesting to see like how they work together. Whereas right now, this setup, I envision staying mostly the same. What will change here is the amount of detail I add and just you'll see what kinds of things I have going on and how I'm planning them in here. The Hobonichi, again, the layout will stay mostly the same, but I definitely intend to put more decoration in there because I have more room for like that kind of freedom since it doesn't need to hold as much crucial information. Um, so that would be interesting, you know, to see how I decorate that and like just the Hobonichi is going to look different all the time and this probably won't, but this might contain slightly more interesting information. And so that's kind of why I decided to just stick them into one thing instead of have each have their own video because individually I think they might get kind of boring. Uh, so for daily tasks and habits, I've got this green marker. And I don't know how I want to outline this. I think, let's see. So I have daily and then I think underneath I'll just write um, habits and tracking. And this will definitely change. One of the things I want to track in a day is like if I work out or if I have walked or ran, I want to do more walking and running like step counting and things like that. But I can't do anything right now with my sprained ankle. So 
yeah, I mean, this is the first real-time video I've done in a while just because this is the first time in a while I've been able to sit at my desk comfortably. My foot is not as sensitive. So for the past, like, two or three weeks, two, two and a half, um, just the weight of, like, my leg on my foot on the floor hurts it. But right now, it's okay. And so that's why I'm doing this video in real time as opposed to the past videos where I've just been sitting here and, like, shifting around the whole time and you didn't see it because I sped it up and I took away the audio but that's the cause for that it also keeps me from doing things like that um, like exercising so I have a few other things here I'm going to track for now none of which involve that and I'll write those in at the end after I get these headers in okay so this is just going to be Saturday and uh, now that I think about it no I'm going to keep it I'm gonna keep it because here's the thing right now my color code breaks down do I want Saturday to be just blue in the header and then to have work school personal daily habits etc in their chosen colors which means there would be this weird half rainbow over here then the headers and then another vertical type of thing or do I want all of Saturday to be blue regardless of the um, kind of task it is I don't know how I feel about that. We'll have to see how this week plays out. Because I didn't think about that. I just thought about it. And Sunday is in this blue, right? Yeah. Then we've got this this week column thing I'm a trigger. Because then it's not, if I don't keep these sections color coded, I don't really have a color code at all. I really have colored columns. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, if you can't tell, I'm still struggling with this. I don't know why that didn't occur to me i mean it didn't occur to me until i saw stuff actually going down on paper but we shall see so up here this is just going to be for just general weekly kind of drop box kind of situation inbox i think that's what people call it Bottom, I have weekly habits kind of outlined here. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just letter it in. I've got it in my head that I want to use more stencils for this planner. I have a lot of stencils. This is one I've been using for these little check boxes. Do I want to use any right now? Try a stencil. Let's see. Probably a 
Oh no, I did my angles wrong. That probably shouldn't be there. Oh no. I don't like it, but it's done. Okay, now I'm going to add these habits in. Does this actually fit? Hmm, I think the stencil I have lines up with these lines. Let's see. Close enough so that I can just go straight down. How many tasks do I have right now? Okay, I'll just do all of the little boxes. Ooh. Okay. And so there are some things that are on these this list just for me to try it out because I know I can't do with them right now. For example, sweep the floors. I want that to be something I do weekly and not just when I'm doing like a deep clean. I'm really bad at sweeping the floors regularly, but with my ankle, I can't do that right now. So I might not get done this week, but I'll do it sometime. Tidying my desk, I can kind of do with my ankle as it is, so that is more likely to get done. Laundry. I want it to become a weekly task so it doesn't um, build up. It's not a weekly task right now because we have to go quite far and it's fairly expensive for us to get to the laundromat. But if we're able to move where I hope we will be able to move, then the laundry is on site and relatively cheap. So we'll be doing weekly laundry, hopefully, if we can move. That won't happen until August at the earliest. I'm just going to have it here. And other weekly things, I don't know. I have some succ some succulents that really could use some watering. So I'll add that to this list. I think they're succulents. They're the air plants that are just like on rocks. Okay, and other things maybe if I think about them, we'll see. But that's what I envisioned for this corner. The rest of this week, I actually have some stuff going on in my Hobonichi that's holding on to some lists for me. Um, is this aligned? Yes, okay. order sticker paper I'm just out of it I want to have some more but I don't want to order it yet next week we should know for sure if we're going to be able to move when and where we want to and when that happens, I need to make an appointment with the offices in the district I want to work in to actually set up an interview to be a substitute in the region, which means that I also have to do the paperwork for that. I need to email somebody. farther out of the way. I need to, I want to change the name of my channel to fit more what I do, but I don't know what I want to do yet. So I have to work on that. I need to add more little squares. I 
want to look into virtual assistant work. What else do I have going on? Oh, there are a couple of things from this week I don't think I will get to. I want to look into renter's insurance. Um, I need to do an exam. I don't think I'll get to it tomorrow. I'm going to also do a video slash demo thing for an application I'm working on. Okay, then this week there, this is like the first official week of the Book Junkie Trials, which is a readathon I'm doing. And so I'm going to mark that trial in general just because I want to mark that it's happening this week. And then I want to figure out what I want to do. So there are five books in the main quest and I have finished the first one today actually. I'm filming this on June the 29th and because I'm in the mage team class we were able to start a week early. However, I don't know what my goals are yet really. I, I want to do the five main quests and I don't know how much of the additional quests I want to get to. So I, I, I think for this week, I'm going to aim to finish, let's put three books on the list. So, because I'm going to start one of them at least tomorrow, if not today, probably tomorrow. But that's before this week even starts, which means I should finish it early next week and start the second one and then maybe the third. So I'm going to put three of those on this list in different... colors or not in different colors sorry in a different like shape and so the three books that I'm working on or will be working on is Song of Achilles and then the third book is Throne of Glass And then my fourth book for the trials is His Majesty's Dragon. Those are things I'm working on this week, not on particular days. Um, actually, yes, that's what I'm going to write for now. Then... Let's go day by day and fill in some more stuff. Or maybe not day by day. I don't know. Oh, and then this light um, purple color. Am I in the frame still? Yeah. This light purple color is for me to circle things that involve me needing to go places. So anything in here, if it's school related, work related, personal, if I need to go somewhere by a certain time, an appointment or something, I will like mark a square around it in this color so that it stands out as a place to be because things are scattered and they aren't in like chronological order. So I want to know if I need to be somewhere by a certain time, exactly when and where that is. So that's what this is for. Okay. So I don't have any work tasks that are slated for a particular day. I'll have to put those in later. I have three work-related things. I don't know that I want to schedule them in yet. For school, I have the same thing basically for every day. I'm reading at least 15 pages from my self-study textbook. And so I want to make sure that I mark that. Oh, actually, 
So I did not realize that my phone ran out of storage space, which means that I did all of this and I was talking and it was not recording. But that's okay. I'll explain what I did. Um, I believe you saw me pretty much set up most of this. This section, I wrote down the three books that I want to read for the Book Junkie Trials this week. And I'm just going to leave that at that. I moved over to this section. I wrote down my top three like segments here. Then I wrote down what I have to do for school this week, which is to read 15 pages per day from my independent study textbook so that I can make sure that I can get through all the material and take the test. Technically, they have told me I don't have to read the whole text. I do have a study guide with like the main topics and I could find just those topics. But at 15 pages a day, like that's an hour of effort if I'm taking like notes and like paying close attention to like every word. And then, at, then I'll have looked through the whole text and it's one that we're going to use next summer for another course, which means that if I've looked through it all once, it'll just be easier for me next summer to work with this text. So I'm just gonna go through the whole thing and take the test. So I outlined that here. I also scheduled the email from my this week section for Monday. It might move around, it might not. I also used these stickers that say read. Where'd I put them? Down here. And to, to label that with this um, Ramona sticker on the side. And I've decided to use that sticker to mark my school reading for this week. And then this other sticker where she's got the stack of books to mark my read -a -thon reading for this week. In the personal section, I used the pink marker to mark down YouTube tasks. So the uploads for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Then editing for Wednesday on Tuesday. Filming for Friday on Wednesday. Editing for Friday on Thursday. And then that Thursday video will be ready. And then Saturday stuff, it's a vlog, so I'm working on that all week. And we'll have to put it to finish it, like the last clip Saturday morning, and put that together Saturday, so I'm not marking that here. And that concludes the pink marker. And then with the green marker, I started to write in other personal tasks, which just come down to the book junkie trials right now. Other things may come up, but those are the only things that are like happening that I know for sure at the present. So I'm going to mark those in. So, because I don't know exactly what book I'll be working on each day, I'm just going to write um, BJT reading. And then I do have the goal to finish Song of Achilles by at least Tuesday. Oh, that's not even the right letter. Oh, I shouldn't have wrote those in because I don't know about the other book. That's why I started all this. I got to scheduling when I wanted to finish my third book for the readathon. I got up to get my iPad to check because that's where I have it. And I saw that I was not recording. So they all, all my books have like the same amount of pages. So Throne of Glass has 416 pages on this machine. Again. Something I might be able to do in two days, I might not be able to do in two days. It depends if I can keep up the momentum I got. It also depends on if it's a good book. Like, Scythe was good, and I finished it in two days, and it went really quickly. But it also wasn't dense. Like, the reading, the, the language was, like, super straightforward, super simple. It's not this great artistic work of literature. It was just a good book. So... If any of these other books are at all more complex, like Song of Achilles is by Madeline Miller, and I'm like towards the last third, no, the last fourth of her book, um, Circe. I haven't finished it yet. 
because for me it was a really slow read. The first half was pretty slow, the second half picked up, but then I started to read Scythe for the readathon. So the question is Song of Achilles. Can I actually finish it by Tuesday? Will it be of the same style and take me longer? Admittedly, I did read Circe in. Okay, I could have finished it in three days if I had focused. So I think I can definitely finish Song of Achilles by Tuesday. I actually think that I can start Throne of Glass by Tuesday. So I'm going to say, let's finish Throne of... How long is the th third book? My third... My fourth book would be His Majesty's Dragon. The print on this is not bad. And it is... What is this? Where does it end? So let's say by 350 pages or so, that's also a couple of days read. Okay. Okay. Throne of Glass is the third book. I'm going to have a goal. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I want to. I want to start it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, goal to finish it by Thursday. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And that means that I can finish His Majesty's Dragon by Saturday or Sunday, which is good. It's about where I want to be, a little slow, but realistic. Ouch. Ow. Okay. I moved my foot. I heard it. Okay, let's see. Have that. So daily habits and tracking, those are all going to be the same seven tasks, which I have here on a sticky note. And this is just going to be me writing them down every day so I can make sure that I do them. This repetition here is about reminding reminding and just getting used to these things that I want to do more often but I have to get my little squares in place I could draw a better square with my hands. I'm going to do that for this section because they're just going more and more crooked and that's getting on my nerves. So 
tasks that I want to accomplish every day or things that I want to mark down. Oh, my planner is getting messy. Okay. Wake up by 7 a.m. And so like this is something you saw in my Hobonichi. I'm, it's just extra important and I want to have it everywhere to remember to do that. Then I want to make sure I'm drinking enough water, which I think is at least at least two of my water bottles. At least. So I'm actually going to do two little squares there. So I can check off each water bottle. Then I want to mark that I'm reading. Right now, reading is part of my personal tasks because I'm doing it very methodically for the readathon. But in general, reading is going to be the kind of thing that I just want to do every day, at least a little bit. So when I'm not having the readathon, like this will track my reading, which is just do it for some amount of time. I need to make sure that I am washing my face. Um, brushing my teeth in the morning I do it fairly well for the evenings but I often forget in the morning and I want to, I need to be better at that I want to keep track of how many I don't know if I want to do that actually Here I'm going to write shower. And my last task was going to be hours slept, like to just track that, but I don't know that I care. I don't I'm getting enough sleep right now. I know that. So I'm not going to write that for now. Honestly, with my ankle the way it is right now, showering is something I want to track because it's really hard and I avoid it. Right now especially. Um, but you know, hygiene is important and whatnot. I've done that and I decided what I want to do for Saturday and Sunday so first of all I didn't have I don't have a section here for top three so I'm going to actually shift all these things down one and I'm going to write the headers for each thing in the color and the bullet points in the color like the color code but I'm going to write the tasks in their respective blues just because just because I feel like that's what I want to do here. So, for example, we've got top three. But when I actually fill that in, I'll use those two colors. So then we have work related things. School related things. And this will be the same as the other two days, 15 pages of reading for my independent study, so I will put those in.
And I think I'm mostly going to be using the fine tip side of these markers, but who knows. And then... I don't know that I need to stencil at all for the squares. It was too annoying. I said I wasn't going to do that. That's fine. We'll try <laughs> we'll try it the other week this week. This week I'll just keep these color coded and then the next week I'll see if I want to change that. Maybe I just won't have a ton of blue in in a spread. I don't know. But I I did not mean to do that, but again, I, I've never used a color code before, but I already really like it. And if the fact that I am already sticking to it unconsci unconsciously does not say how much I like it. Well, there you go. So personal. Huh? It's also interesting, I think, to combine this vertical weekend with the horizontal weekday because I'm interested in seeing which one I'll end up liking better. I didn't think I liked vertical. I still don't think I like vertical, but I'm intrigued by the fact that it's here because there are planners that have this vertical section stuff going on. I think it's the Plum Paper planner has something very, very much like this, but its stays are vertical. And I went with the EC because its stays are horizontal for the most part. They only do Monday through Friday, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. So personal tasks and I'm marking YouTube and other so Saturday I need to get a video up so I need to finish it I need to edit it and I need to upload it so Oh, I also need to set up next week. So I think I'll move that to Sunday. I will do... I will do this. Other personal tasks are the book junkie trials. So I s would have started ideally finished Throne of Glass on Thursday, which means by Saturday I could probably finish His Majesty's Dragon. Gonna gonna do that. Gonna write that down. Then the question becomes the grail book when would i finish that is it possible to finish it sunday probably not because i have to do this it's small it's 280 pages i'm gonna write it on here just to have some aspirations that that might not be a thing i would have to need to finish everything else like a touch curly and I might not be able to do that, but I'm going to write it down anyway. I didn't have a space to mark just work on the reading here, so I just put this on Saturday, but I just put that little square to mark that. and. These squares fill up faster than I thought. I don't even have a lot to do and I'm figuring out how to fill up space. So that's interesting.
another thing that I need to do next week is work on um, my Father's Day card. I have one. I just need to fill it out. And I saw my dad right before Father's Day because he was here for graduation and we went on like a family trip and stuff. And I told him I'd mail him something within the next month or so. So I just have to work on that. I thought I might get to it this week, but I don't know if I will. I'm really on a roll uh, with the readathon, and I want to get as much of a head start as I can before July. So let's see how we're looking. This really filled up. I really thought this would be like super bare and there wouldn't be anything here, and it would be like, why did I take the time to film this? But it looks nice. When it comes to the work tasks, there really there aren't that many things I need to do and I don't know when I want to do them. So I'm not going to fill that stuff out yet. At some point, you know, I'll have a schedule once I have a job and that's where I will mark it and keep up with that. But for now, I think we're done. Let me clean up my space a bit so that we can really see things i also don't have anywhere to go next week so we didn't see the light purple market get used but that's fine actually i do want to remind myself that saturday is people grocery shopping and that would usually be a personal task but I filled up that box so I'm going to go up here to some of this extra space and just add why is this marker button it has a split I don't know how that happened I almost never used this marker that is disappointing okay so I marked that and that would be purple because we have to go somewhere. I don't know if I'll go. It depends on how my foot is doing. Yeah. Okay. So I did use some stickers. I actually, I like that. So I might end up using more stickers. I don't think I'll do anything with the labels. I like just writing those in. Not centered. Okay. I like just writing those in. I don't know. I really like these labels. I didn't expect to like those as much as I do. I have some for study, which will prove helpful in the future. I like the character stickers, like just randomly throughout. So I'll definitely keep using those. I have a few more. Um, what else? In fact, there's one more thing I should mark on. Friday, since I have the room, And I do like the character stickers. Friday is game night. Where are my letters? that there for now. I have to just make sure I am in frame and out. Okay. So that looks good. I like it. This is what I'm going to use going into next week. But I forgot one more thing I wanted to to like split 
the weekend from the rest of the stuff. I was going to use just a marker, but I kind of want to try this washi tape. It doesn't particularly match anything, but it's a fairly neutral color. That's from the May Simply Gilded box. The 5mm add-on subscription. Wow, my camera was not anywhere where I thought it near where I thought it was. So if this whole time things have been off. I apologize for that. This is not a setup I am used to setting up regularly and like consistently because this planner is so much bigger than like a regular Erin Condren planner. But I'll work on that. So this is what we've got going this on for that. This is what we've got going on for this week. I'd love to know what you think of this spread. If you have any ideas, would you do something differently? Would you move stuff around? Like, what do you think? This is what I'm going to use next week, and we will see what happens. If you like what you've seen, please be sure to um, like, comment, and or subscribe so that I know, and I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you next time. Bye!